Hello, good morrow. Um, anyways, I posted this picture yesterday on my Instagram story. Um, I did my nails myself. I did my nails myself yesterday and it's from a bunch of stuff that I bought and I've been like practicing or whatever. I love having my nails done, but also I am a frugal franny and I do not necessarily love spending that type of money on nails. I don't. Um, so I've been looking for a way to have my nails done at a much lower rate that I could do myself. Um, and I can't necessarily show, so I put these on yesterday. I'm going to show you a close up in a second, um, of both hands and it was relatively easy. It did take me a little bit. I want to say like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, but this is really my first time doing them exactly like this. And we're on day two. Now I think they came out really well, not perfect yet, but they came out pretty, pretty good for me doing them myself. Okay. Um, now the thing is we got to see how long they're going to last. That is going to be the true test. This is day two and they... Baby, they are on, okay? They are not going anywhere yet. We'll see. Um, so I am going to show you the stuff that I use. I can't, when I take these off and I do other ones, I'll show you exactly how I do it. But for now, I'll just show you the products that I used, okay? Okay, so here's my first hand. Sorry, I'm shaky because I have anxiety and also that is psoriasis. So don't mind her. She's out here dry and flaky. Um, I will say the hardest part for me is getting not getting like glue or paint around the cuticle area, but I'm gonna work on that. I have a drill, so I got some of it off. Um, but they are on there pretty good, girl. Okay, so that's one hand. I'll show you the other one. Here's my right hand, which was a little bit harder to do because I had to use my left hand. Um, but I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Like I said, the cuticle area is struggling a little bit, but other than that, I feel like it did okay. And I know some people in the comments are gonna say, girl, just go get some press-ons. I love press-ons, they're great, but only for like a day or two. They pop, listen, one thing about me is I was not, I was already born with these manly geriatric meat mitts, okay? These are working man hands, and I was born with these. I was born with old man hands. I can't help it. So any, like, nails help me, and I need them to stay on because I'm active, and I do a lot of work in these streets, and I'm very hands-on with everything, and everything pops off. Even acrylics pop off for me within, a, like, a couple weeks. I have at least one nail that pops right off. Um, so what I did, these are gel extensions, gel extensions. I also saw a lot of people, I saw this trend on TikTok where a lot of people were taking um, press-ons and UV gelling them, UV gluing, gelling, like UV lighting them to their nails. You cannot do that with opaque nails. If the nail is not clear, if your extension is not clear, it will not cure all the way. And you can get dermatitis and you could become allergic to gel for the rest of your life. So if you're doing that, please be so careful. Please be so freaking careful. There are UV safe nails that you can use. Use those. Okay, so that's what I did, right? Is I bought a few different items. Um, I got these. These are clear nails from Beetles. Beetles gel polish. And this came with the kit with a, a little curing light. This curing light is not strong enough to actually fully cure your nail. So this is great to get it on. And, but then I was reading that you... And I got another kit with just gel nail polish. I'll show you guys in a second. But it came with this light. And this light is not even strong enough. So you have to get a 48 watt, I think it is. So I bought this light. Because this is going to... I'm scared to get an allergic reaction. I don't want to become allergic to gel for the rest of my life. Because I love I love gel nail polish. So um, I got this light. It is Sunny. Sun UV. Whatever. This is 48 watts. So I take the clear tips. I put them on um, with this... Is this the glue? No. No, this is, this is the Beatles. Hello. This is the Beatles nail glue that I got and you put it, you have to prep your nails first. Like I got, I also got a, I'm basically a nail tech out here. Not really. I have so much respect for y'all cause this is not easy. I got this little drill. It comes with all these different tips in here. You've got to file your nail down, dry it out with alcohol before you do anything. Then you use the glue and you cure, you cure the tips on the clear tips, or they also have things like this. Like I got these, um, these are great. I will say that I got, this color was too dark for me. I accidentally got the non Caucasian nails. Um, so if anybody needs some, I got you. They just don't look right on me cause I got Casper hands. Um, there's pink ones that I have to order, but these are great. Cause you literally just put the, the glue and you put it on and then you just put a top coat on done. You're done. That's it. And then it came with also, one of, the, one of the kits came with this clipper thing, so you can click them that clip. Let me slow down. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, this is long already, so I'm just trying to slow it down, but I need to learn how to talk. I'm sorry. Um, clip them down, 
before you, uh, after you cure them. And then you're just going to throw on like your gel polish. This set that I, the first set that I got was Mode Loans. This is like three different sets. Um, but I think on all of this, I spent probably the equivalent to like one getting your nails done one time, one full set for all of this stuff. And I'll be able to do my nails a lot of times. Um, so then you're going to take your gel polish or whatever I used. I got like a neutral few colors. So it came with like five different colors. I used this one on my nails yesterday. And then you, you do, you know, you put your base coat and you just paint them like you're doing a gel manicure after you get them, the tips cured on. So I will, once these pop off, I will keep you tuned. Stay tuned for how long they stay on. Cause that's going to be the real test because I, I'd be popping nails off, but so far so good. They are on there and they feel like real acrylics. They feel like they don't feel flimsy at all. So in conclusion, stay tuned. I will show show you on video like me actually going through the process once I do the next set. Um, I will try to find, if you guys want the links to these, I can try to find them in my Amazon thing and maybe put them on my, I don't really know how to work storefront. I'm going to be so honest with you, but I, maybe that's the easiest way to do it. But yeah, um, that's what I did and I'll, I'll stay tuned.